Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for another. Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing wonderful. It is a snowy day out. It's like beautiful from my desk window right here. It's just, let me just show you guys. It's so nice. It's all white outside and all snowy. So it's like the perfect time to just cuddle up with some wine or tea or some water and just do the thing you love. If you guys had watched my, sorry, I think you're crazy. If you had watched my video where I talked to a client on the phone, like an actual conversation, this is that client. I'm working on her website right now. And she decided on her home pages. We have a few edits on that, but we're going to start designing the entire website. So I'm just gonna kind of like record myself designing and talk through what I'm doing, just like the old days with my old wine and designs. Um, Cause I really do need to get this done and I'm excited for it. So I'm drinking the same wine, the same bottle of wine that I had on my last wine and design last week just because I can't go through wine that fast. So um, this is that Zinfandel that I had from Trader Joe's and um, okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop on over to my screen with you guys and basically start recording um, what I'm going to be doing and home pages and what they looked like and then we are going to start with the interior pages so that is the process I take when I'm doing website designs I like to send them multiple home pages so that they can pick the route they like best because I'll try and like really give them different options with those home pages like you'll see when I show you this it was like completely different styles um, but that was really just to figure out what kind of style she really likes um, and it's it's so helpful doing that for me because then I know how to do the rest of the site with like no hesitation of what she likes and what she doesn't. Okay, so I'm recording now. Okay, so the awesome part about Adobe XD is that you can actually like prototype it so that it looks like how it would when it's live. Um, so I just think that part's really, really cool and um, one of my favorite features about it is that they can see like full blown like what it looks like. So this was the first design that I sent her. She gave me the direction. If you guys saw that video, like she wanted it to be gender neutral um, and she likes like blues and greens and blacks and grays and like all that kind of stuff. So this one I really focused on more colors with blues and greens. Um, and of course I like the earthier tones of greens and blues. and. It's crazy how much of a difference that makes. So this is um, the first version of the homepage and I just put filler text in there because she's still writing right now. Um, this section here. Okay, so that is the first homepage. Now this was the second one and you'll see I actually changed up the font. So that's also important because Clients will notice that and it's just good to give them multiple options. Um, okay, so this was the second one. I did a lot more blacks and beiges just to give her that option to see. And, and yeah, so which one do you guys think she chose? I'm pretty sure you guys probably know which one I wanted her to choose and that was this one but she ended up choosing this one which I still really like I think it's perfect for her like brand and her personality um, yeah so this is the one we're going with and I have it open here on Adobe XD so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, I'm gonna actually copy this this design into a new artboard just so I don't lose it because I could probably use that layout and design for a different client that maybe it fits better. So I'm going to paste that over here. Oops. Just so I don't lose it. Okay and then stretch this out. So this way I have another website template. I 
always recommend saving the ones I don't use because that'll save you a lot of time and energy. So. Okay, so I saved that. Now let's go into here. And we're gonna delete that. All right, so she did give me some feedback on this homepage of things she wants to change. And basically, let me pull up my notes. Okay, so this actually happens quite often. She liked the font on the other uh, website but she likes this style better and make sure you remind your clients that they can do that like they can pick and choose which things they like and don't like so she did like that font better but then we were looking at some sites for inspiration and she found one that had um Montessera. so that's what i'm going to change her heading fonts to because she really liked that and it's such a simple beautiful font that works for so much so that's actually her body font as well so that works out kind of nicely um so yeah i'm gonna go through and do that to all of the heading fonts just highlight them all make sure you ungroup everything Okay, and we probably will have to realign some of them, but I'm, I'm going to make most of these actually all capital, just because that really makes it stand out as a heading font. Um, and let's see if I can decrease that size a little bit, because this font's way bigger. Yeah, I think this is way more of what she wanted. She really wanted like simple, minimalist kind of vibes to it, so this is perfect. And I like capital. And it's also crazy just how like spacing the letters, like I have them spaced to 100, makes all the difference too. Okay, and now this section, we're actually going to be changing those out, so I don't really need that right now, but, um, uh, yeah, so let's highlight that. Capital and make sure also that your heading fonts are all the same size because when I develop this into Divi, I'm going to actually add code and that code will confirm that every heading is the same size font and the same style of font. So it's really important to do that also just for consistency so that looks nice. Um, okay, just this one down here. All right, cool. Now, her other thing was um, that she wants me to take out this section right here just because her business is not really ready for those services yet. So we're going to actually put a little more about her services here. <clears throat> so in my opinion, I think a homepage should always have a little bio something kind of engaging um, just about like her process, testimonials for sure, and then it should also talk about the services with a call to action. So that is one thing we're actually missing here when I take this part out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna design that and she sent me some more photos that we can use of herself. So <clears throat> we're gonna pull that up.
Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this place Option to be someone else, I would And let go of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious, fuck it, I made this way But why didn't I stay when I had the chance? Maybe it will pass by, someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done in my drink at this pace I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. I just kept it pretty simple for that section um, But I think she's gonna like it She really likes simplicity So I'm just gonna keep it like that She's gonna be sending me the content pretty soon here So that could possibly change things Because I don't know what the content's really gonna like mention So maybe we'll change the photo out or something like that um, but yeah, so now I'm going to, I'm going to make the about page and I love making about pages. I just think they're so fun to design because they are, you can be pretty creative with them and I just think they're super fun. So I'm going to delete all of this, make sure I didn't delete anything there. Okay. So the about page. Now, I'm gonna look around for some inspiration first, but then I think I know what I wanna do for it, so. So yeah, I'm gonna look. I know that overlaying things like this is a little bit difficult sometimes to develop. I guarantee she's using, um, show it. Uh, oh, she's using WordPress. Um, Yeah, anyway, I like her site a lot. It's really simple and clean. Um, yeah, and this is the site the client sent me, so. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, cool. So, what I'm gonna do is copy this over and I'm gonna continue doing some like headers for her, so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find another picture that she sent me because this is her about page. So we want to have a lot of pictures of her. Um, so let's see. I'm not going to lie. These pictures are like not the best, but it's better than stock, I guess, because it's nice to see the actual person. Um, oh, I want to use the one of her dog and her... I think this one's really cute. Oh, I just wish it was bigger. I don't know why these are all cropped. Um, OK, 
okay but guys I'm just gonna edit and like forward because I don't want this video crazy crazy long so I'm gonna edit and hope you guys enjoy I did it really simple right now. I'll probably go in and add like details, but I just wanted to get it started and kind of like get my creative juices flowing on what I want it to look like. So yeah, that is what I did today. I hope it was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, I'm sure I'll still be working on it next week. So maybe my next wine and design can be more of like the um, final touches and more details and stuff, but yeah, this is how I design websites for my clients, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, I would appreciate it so much if you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video.